I'm making a beetroot and goat's cheese salad. Now, I love salads that is well balanced in terms of flavor, color, and texture. And today is no exception. I love that smooth, creamy texture of the goat's cheese and that subtle flavor. And this is how I do it. Firstly, soak the gelatine leaves in some water. Next, heat a pan over medium heat and add the wine. the sugar and the thyme and bring to a boil until a syrup starts to form. Drain the water from the gelatine and add it to the syrup. Stir through until the gelatine dissolves. Keep it aside. Now put the goat's cheese in a food processor jug and add the syrup, cream, and season with some salt and pepper. Now pulse the mixture until it is smooth. Remove the mixture from the jug and place it on a surface covered with a double layer of cling wrap. Now roll it into a sausage shape. And place the mousse into the fridge to set for about 25 minutes. Now for the walnut puree. Now this is a recipe that you can definitely store in your little black book because it goes with a variation of other salads and even game. This is how I do it. Heat a dry pan over medium heat and add the walnuts. Toast until fragrant. Add honey and bring to the boil. Next, cup of Rosendal vinegar and cook until the vinegar is almost reduced. Then add the cream and bring to the boil. Reduce to half the original volume. Then remove the mixture from the heat and place it into a processor jug. Now remove the jug and pour it through a strainer and keep it aside until later. Right, now for the dressing. Now the orange dressing is delicious and it also adds a lovely twang to this dish. Take a bowl and add the orange juice, some salt and olive oil. Now whisk until well combined. Keep it aside until later. There's a variety of beets out there nowadays. And I sometimes like to use the golden beets or the candy striped beets, and they are delicious. And they work equally well in this recipe. Firstly, take the beets and place them in a roasting tray, layered with rock salt. Now cover with foil and bake the beets in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 35 minutes. When done, remove from the oven and keep it aside. Now for the last element, the beetroot paint. Not only does it look great, it adds to the visual appeal of the dish, it also tastes lovely. Heat the saucepan over medium heat, add the beetroot juice into a pot, bring it to a boil. Now add the star anise, cinnamon stick and the port. Now reduce over medium heat till half a cup. When done, remove from the heat and keep it aside. Excellent. All my components are done. Now I'm just gonna start to assemble my beautiful salad. You can play with the plating styles. I also like using an array of baby lettuces that adds a slight freshness as well as a faint bitterness to the flavor of the salad. 